for Leo. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Leo. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Leo placement that you resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information or, or any jewelry seen will be linked in the description box. At the end, we will pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Jumping right in, Leo, I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. Okay, your first card out this week is the Knight of Wands. Sagittarius energy could be important to you. That is in your past position, though. So Sagittarius season could have also been an important time frame. What else do we have for Leo, though? We have the King of Cups, Water Sign Energy, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Very, very uh, different energy here. We have Major Arcana, the Star card, Aquarius energy could also be important to you. Lots of masculine energy as well. Major Arcana, the Hermit, Virgo energy could be dealing with a Virgo. Some of you ghosted somebody. <laughs> Some of you um, definitely ghosted. Wow, lots of Major Arcana here, Leo. Justice card, Libra energy, lots of masculine energy. And of course, more Major Arcana, the Hangman. Pisces energy, the page of pentacles, and the nine of wands also wanted to come out. Wow. One, two, three, four. Four out of uh, six major arcana. Lots and lots of masculine energy here. Some sort of action getting ready to be taken. This could be your energy, someone that you're dealing with. We have the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck. So you could be this queen of cups, absolutely. But now we have a king and queen of cups. So I do think this is absolutely someone that you love. Friend, family member, lover. It's going to be different for you all, but um, someone that loves you, you love someone here. Maybe this is what's going on. Realization or looks like there was some shift here. Somebody was um, unreliable, very isolated, keeping themselves closed off, keeping themselves um, quiet, stagnant. Could be because they were dealing with some sort of karma or legal issues here. Made this person come off extremely unreliable. Could not be depend here one minute, gone the next. But I think it's something they were trying to keep secret from you. Something they were dealing with either legally, some sort of contract, some sort of legal matter, or karma itself. Karmic energy. I do see this person has a lot of emotion for you, though. And it does look like this um, karma here, because this is all major arcana at the bottom deck. So this is something this person could not avoid. It was having them show up very um, in and out in your life. But I do think that's getting ready to end here with the star card being in the future energy. Of the, uh, and this is what this King of Cups is looking at. I do see it's time for healing. Somebody's going to want another chance here, an opportunity. They would love an opportunity to heal this, obviously knowing that um, the chances could be slim to none. But willing to uh, try anyways. That Nine of Wands is all about not giving up. Still having some fight left in you, even though, you know, it's like your whole life's been a battle. Someone could have been battling some sort of legal issue. And it looks like they were trying to be quiet about it. Like they didn't want you to know with all this kind of kind of secretive, but just um, not even secretive, but like um, reserved energy, held back energy, non forthcoming energy. Also, this person could have been looking at you sort of like the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, here's the movement. Here's the action getting ready to be taken here. And here you are in this. You're ready to talk. But your energy has definitely changed. You've gone from the Queen of Cups to the Queen of Swords. Could have air in your chart, but I do see a conversation coming here. This person sees you as very loving. Whatever they tell you may shock you. Scorpio season could have been an important time for you too. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. But there is going to be opportunity here to move forward if you would like it. Obviously, free will is yours. That's why we're also seeing that lover's energy. This person is going to tell you why they have they why they were showing up the way they did. Looks like you're open to that conversation though with this Queen of Swords. She's open to talk, but she's just not going to make any effort to talk to you. Free will is yours. You do as you uh, please, because for a lot of you, the information will be different. But I do get it. Some sort of um, this person had no control over this. This is all Major Arcana. You can't control Major Arcana. That's the Divine dealing with you. You know, and it looks like they didn't really want you to know about it too much. They kind of wanted to deal with it, be done with it, and then get back to whatever the two of you were doing. Okay, guidance for you. Please, if this is a romantic situation. So Virgo, Libra, Pisces, Aquarius, 
Cancer, Spicy, Scorpio, Sagittarius. But a lot of heavy hitters here, and I kind of just see you over here like, ah, what should I do with all this love? <laughs> you've turned your back to it. With the placements here, it seems like you've turned your back to the situation or put it out your mind. Guidance for Leo, please. Wedding. The situation involves marriage and chemistry. There's a strong magnetic connection here. I'd say so. Very much showing up as a true pair. But again, free will is yours. Some of you won't want anything to do with this. Some of you will. Most of you will, because I do get it's not uh, any sort of it's not any sort of third party. It literally was either karmic or a legal issue for this person. And they could not kind of give energy to both. And they didn't want to get you involved with the hermit energy shows me that they didn't want you to get involved. They kind of wanted to deal with it on their own. Antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. Yeah, I told you things are going to start to move now. This hangman energy is um, with the star card. If you decide to sort of give it another go, there is opportunity here. This person is genuine with the page of pentacles. They admire you as well. Page of Pentacles comes up of um, time for a beginner's mind. That's very much what this Page of Pentacles is talking about. Somebody that wants to start over. Okay, guidance for Leo, please. For some of you, okay, this could be sort of like a father or child situation. Someone could have been locked up type of thing for a little bit or we're dealing with some sort of legal issues and now they kind of want to rebuild a relationship with the child. That's a storyline for maybe one of you. Get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. So this is all about meditating and being in alignment. Someone is now finally grounded. They weren't before. See how they were hanging upside down? A bit of limbo this person was in. Their life was kind of in limbo, or their energy was at least. But now they have, it's about to be done. And they'll be able to sort of invest into new things and put uh, full force energy. You also have here, don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming in order to fit in? This is also about not seeing something. But this is also, don't use your two, don't, you got to use the third eye to intuitively pick up on something. Awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. This is also giving me hangman energy. So this person is now able to move forward. Whatever this um, Libra energy is representing karma or an actual situation, that's being cleared and now they can move sort of towards this uh, new energy. If, and I think they want you to be a part of it, but that's obviously, as I said, up to you. Guidance for Leo, please. If you want to uh, give this person another opportunity to sort of make things right. But I do see there's still love there. Coming up is the Queen of Cups. For some of you, it is a family member. Believe in the impossible. And a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. We just had a full moon in Cancer. Well, a week or so ago. Mm hmm. So the impossible is about to happen. Something you deemed as impossible at the very least. But there's just a piece of opportunity about to happen here. Could be something you wished for too. Someone you wish to have some sort of another opportunity with. Guidance, please. Here we go. from this deck for Leo. It's a like very slow moving energy. Okay, nothing. Leo, that is your reading. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next week.